Nearly a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. Out of cheesy! To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, St. Valentine's Day is on the way. And in Japan, chocolate will be the main attraction. Young ladies will go crazy finding the right kind of chocolate for St. Valentine's Day. And a thought came to my mind. Chocolate is perhaps the most poetic of foods. And thus, I came up with an idea for today's battle. I shall prepare mountains of chocolate in my kitchen stadium. Cooking utensils and equipment will be modified for the day for making sweets and desserts using chocolate. I wish to make this the ultimate St. Valentine's Day. I searched all the top French restaurants and confectionaries in Japan, and at last I came across one of the top three patissiers in Japan. A patissier is a chef specializing in desserts. And today we have one of the best in Japan. Today's challenger, one of the top three patissiers in Japan, Fuyuko Kondo. She was born in New York and grew up enjoying homemade sweets made by her mother and grandmother. At age 20, she found herself entering the National Confectionery Institute of Belgium. And in 1983, when she moved to France, Kondo met a person who changed her life. Her talents were discovered by Gaston Le Nouteau, the biggest name in modern French confectionery, and received training directly under him for one year. He would say, okay, try this. But then if he didn't like it, he'd never give you the same task again. He was very strict. Le Nato approved Kondo's skill and dispatched her to their Tokyo branch. And in 1986, Kondo was recruited by André Pachon in Daikanyama. Kondo's talents flourished, and soon she became a name to be reckoned with. In France and Belgium, I picked up a variety of techniques and recipes. I was able to demonstrate everything I had when I was working there. The base of Kondo's confectionaries are Belgian, finished and presented with her own originality and sensibility, created with warmth and care. Fuyuko Kondo, here to do battle in celebration of St. Valentine's Day. Her opponent must be Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai. Besides chocolate, I have one more theme ingredient in mind. So now, Kondo, show us your affection for sweets and make this a truly unforgettable Valentine's Day. I'll really try to do my best today.
A festive occasion, an early celebration of Valentine's Day. Desserts will be the order, and joining us is actress Anna Umemiya. Welcome to the show. Hello, it's my pleasure to be here. Uh, Valentine's yes. Day, your significant mm -hmm. other. What chocolate are you going to give? Well, I haven't thought about it no? quite yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have to think about it soon, I guess. Something for him and something for Dad, too, right? <laughs> I'll have to probably pick up two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Glad you could be here today. Thank you for having me. And our commentator, Dr. Yuki Ohatori. Doc? Always a pleasure. All right. Time to bring him on. Chairman Kaga. あい。お、チョコレートに託すバレンタインデーまであと 2 ルノートルデの修行の経験もあるという超エリートです。さあ、皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えください。日本で3本の指に入るパティシエ、近藤冬子。All right, entering the stadium, a young lady who's among the top 3 dessert makers in the country here for a holiday dessert battle and a try to take down an iron chef. Nice to be here. え、パティシエという職業をやりになっているわけですが。イエス。その Making a solo ascent into the ethereal atmosphere of Kitchen Stadium, the man who leads French cuisine in Japan, Iron Chef French, Hiroyuki Sakai. A pioneer, one of the first to fuse Japanese techniques with French recipes, and for his artistic use of color, he's dubbed the Delacroix of French cuisine, winner of the Christmas dessert battle, now coming back to make desserts for Valentine's. <laughs>今回の審査の基準はバレンタイン。愛の告白を表現する作品を作ってもらいます。今日は中央にチョコレートが用意してあります。そしてもう一つテーマ素材があります。ニューヨーク生まれの挑戦者にふさわしいあの果物。マンハ
And now the Challenger, and she's mm. cutting up that chocolate fine. Yeah, actually shaving it, you'd call it. Chocolate mm, shavings chocolate. right there. Yeah, it looks like she's just going to melt that down to, to liquid form. Okay. Mm. And that way it's, it's just so easy to use. Mm. You can pretty okay. much put it on anything else. Okay, <laughs> continuing with that, then just get it liquid and cold from that. Exactly. That's that's the most common technique. Okay, now back with Sakai. and Check that out. Getting a tool there for removing the core. This could be baked apples. Sukazan! Yes, from the floor, Shinichiro to go. I asked Iron Chef Sakai how he feels fighting another dessert battle after the intense one that he had at Christmas, and he said, my approach today will be totally different. I'm not going to do time-consuming, intricate things this time. I'm going to be bold and powerful. Gonna go on the <laughs> offensive today. <laughs> wow. Seems like just a few weeks ago, Sakai in the Christmas dessert battle using strawberries. Right. He won and challenged again today by another female chef. Now, I think we're seeing a pressure cooker. Okay, here. apples going in. Yeah, and some butter went in there as well. Well, I'm guessing what he's trying to do is cut down on the cooking time with this. Okay, with the yeah. pressure cooker and uh, any idea what he could be making uh, with this? No, that is the question, is it? Something in the line of a, of a baked apple. Still on those baked apples, are you, huh? <laughs> now you see him putting the cinnamon sticks here in oh, the center. yes, sir. Yeah, right. Breaking them up. In the middle. Yeah, exactly. Sticking them in right there. It goes really well with apples, mm. cinnamon and apples, of course. Uh -huh. Nutmeg, cinnamon, things like that. Mm, perfect. Mm, they are perfect for those. Fukuzan? Yes. I asked Challenger Kondo how she feels going against Iron Chef Sakai, and she said, it's such an honor to be facing him. He's a hero, an icon. And then she added, but I'm going to beat him. She doesn't sound intimidated at all. <laughs> Kondo, confidence level high. Good for her. And up in the royal box today, her mother and father looking on, and other family members too, her brother, sister and niece, a whole traveling entourage <laughs> for the challenger. And Oh my, Sakai, look at him peel wow, away. That's unbelievable. <gasps> Sakai <gasps> showing his fastball there. He can wow. really bring it too. How wow. do they do that? You know, normally you'd peel him winding down in a spiral mm. form from the top. Mm, oh, this okay. is the slow motion? Indeed it, it is. Oh. You know, <laughs> his slow motion is faster than most people's regular motion. Boy, you know? if I tried that, there would be nothing left to eat. <laughs> well, if I tried it, <laughs> there'd be blood on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, your dad wouldn't let you pick up a knife. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> okay, now back with Kondo here. All right, she's going to pipe something there. And what is this? Uh, mm. Fromage blanc, I believe. Ooh, okay, the cream here like in lay terms then. Well, actually, it's a mousse. Yeah. Okay, Cousin? already sweetened. Yes, go ahead. I think I can answer that. The ingredients in this are fromage blanc, egg whites, sugar, and fresh cream all whipped up together. Mm. Okay, so sugar's in there. Perfect. Oh, okay. Sounds so really sweet. It's sweet already. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's see what Sakai is doing back there. Hmm, what do you make of mm. these? I uh, imagine for a sauce. Oh. Applesauce, then. <laughs> sure, <Apple> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. There's different types of applesauce, so okay. something in there. And it looks like he's using the peels and the cutaway portions, too. Not wasting any part of the apple at all. Going the whole hog there using on the, the apples. Skin and everything, yeah. Well, that should score, even with the environmentalists. <laughs> yeah, oh, we got the white chocolate now. Okay, Yummy. this is on Sakai's side, that. and they're getting into some shaving of their own, only with white chocolate cut and, and shaven, very fine. Mm -hmm. So they'll melt that down, too, and be able to use that in a variety of ways. Challenger Fuyuko Kondo, just the fourth female challenger we've had here in Kitchen mm. Stadium. The first two beat Iron Chef Chen. Sakai mm -hmm. defeated the third in the Christmas dessert battle, and there is Kondo's See melted chocolate. Today. Yeah, you're right. And back with Sakai, looks like some steak fries right there. <laughs> Not potatoes, Kuizan. <laughs> I know, but they do look like steak fries. Uh, Sauteing some apples. Okay, and he's added something to them. I there. think that was the soup that we saw earlier. Okay, the soup mm -hmm. or broth from the beginnings of an apple sauce added right here, apple on apple. Mm, wow. Now the challenger is starting to work, do something with her melted chocolate, dropping some, wow, squirting them all over yeah. on that metal sheet. Doing some piping there with what the uh, melted liquid chocolate. And she's making, basically, it's going to be strings of chocolate. They'll harden on that surface, and then those oh. those patterns will be to be lifting up and stick them on something. Lifted yeah. from there. Right, because that wow. aluminum plate you see there has been cooled for a while. So they'll harden wow, quickly. That right. so clever. It hardens very quickly, and then you just shave it right off. Look, there you she's go. going yeah. right there, and they slide wow. right off. That's pretty interesting, isn't Amazing. it? Amazing, and it's so pretty. Yeah, so for decorating her dishes. Delicate. Melted chocolate's very important for a dessert chef. You know, like she's awesome. she got it done in no she's time, it, yeah. too. Yes. Here's an interesting bit of information about those chocolate strings, the challenge you just made. The preliminary report is that she's planning to make some kind of a bird's nest out of them. Mm -hmm. Got it. Oh, Thanks. Okay, that'll be very nice. Well, you know, when she first put them like that, I thought she could make a chocolate nest, you well, know? that was a good call on your yep. part. Okay. Uh, we swing over at the Iron Chef here, check him out. All right, back with him. Yeah, he's lining up sautéed apples in a large circle mold, as you can see, and I think this is going to be a tart okay. of some kind. Okay. Right. Yes. There is white chocolate in this bowl mixed with some other ingredients. They include fresh cream, calvados, and apple puree. Oh, okay. Calvados? 
close. What what is that? Uh, it's a type of brandy made from apples. Oh, mm. all right. Uh -huh. And whipping it all in there is. Uh, uh, yes. One more thing. I asked the challenger how she is planning to incorporate the theme of St. Valentine's Day in her dishes, and she replied, "There'll be chocolates that an adult gentleman would enjoy receiving, not just sweets for kids with bitterness mm -hmm. added." Like that. She's got it right. Good chocolates mm. got to be a little bit bitter. That's in my book for sure. We're okay. saying that before. Now, That's if we can right. check this out, we need the the camera to to swing back over here. Okay, it's not a tart tatan. What we're talking. Hold. It. Which side are you talking about now? <laughs> well, now I'm confused. Wait a minute. Who are we looking at? <laughs> All right, you were talking about Sakai's. This okay. the moose over this one. <laughs> yeah. You whiffed. Well, basically, yes, I was wrong. <laughs> Don't know what he's doing with it then, huh? That's true. I just know for sure that he will flip this over at the end. You're looking at the bottom right. Okay, now. a final flip. Yeah, and then into the oven. All right, we mm. shall see him back okay. with Kondo here. Kazan. <laughs> yes. This dough that the challenge is rolling out will be the crust for a tart. Oh, a tart. Tart on this side, wow. then. Mm, okay. All right, and she's cutting out the circles. And now here, what does Sakai Sponge have? Sponge cake. The brown stuff right there. Oh, I see. Okay, I missed another one. I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to chill this. You sure? You're running out of options. <laughs> Now, what's Sakai got over here? Oh, it's a sponge cake. The brown stuff here. Uh oh, I missed another one. I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's going to chill this. You sure? You're running out of options now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doc, let's see. At the plate, two strikes early in the count. One more, and you know what happens. <laughs> Look, get off my skirt. <laughs> All right, so to be chilled, huh? Still going to yeah. flip it over, too, Yeah, huh? it would be just before serving. No, oh, that's my right. call. Wow. And oh. there you are, saved by the fridge. <laughs> All right, now the challenger side, working the dough. Now, she said this was a, a tart dough, right? So the sheets she's placing into the molds are called pat sucre. All right, now you're trying to baffle us with the French terms. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this in layman's terms, it's uh, <laughs> almost like a pie, but in layers after baking. Okay, I'd like to see that. Wow. So she'll be putting the apples inside of that. Okay. Uh, sliced apples and you know things like All right, that. Well, that would baking. be nice. So a tart means small cake in French. Okay. Oh. Now here we are back with Sakai, oh, the pressure cooker Ooh, open. The the it's, shape is oh. kind of lost. It has oh. lost it definitely in there. Maybe it's what he wanted. You think so? Things so. removing his skin now. Yes. Yes, a setback already. The apples in the pressure cooker apparently turned out too soft, so Iron Chef Sakai is going to have to do that dish again. Oh no, what a oh. shame. Taking a walk on the soft side. Super soft they are over there. Going to have to have round two on that operation. Mm. It's in the early going, so he'll have plenty of time, I think. But you know, it, is he trying to keep some of that soft stuff around. Mm, maybe he maybe. can even salvage some of it, use it elsewhere. Oh, now man, the challenge aside, don't know here, but they're that? definitely not soybeans, I can tell you that. <laughs> no. Come on in here, what you got? Um, even mm. Dr. Hattori <laughs> drawing a blank on this one. Wow. Sorry, I really don't know. See if they can get that Kuzan? from the floor. Yes, you got it? My answer to that just may raise more questions, but according to the challenger, she's using these beans as weights. Evidently, they're not for eating. Wow. Okay, all right, I see. Mm. Oh, well, that's <laughs> why you didn't know. Well, normally you use small pebbles or stones for that purpose. Oh, really? But, uh, I guess you can use oh. beans, too. All right, cut you some slack on that, but it's <laughs> to shape the whole thing. Right, yeah. And, and for Kusan? Yes. Yeah, one more thing, getting back to the failed steamed apple dish a moment ago, the Iron Chef says he knows the cause of that. He says the flames were too high, so mm. when I asked him if he had enough time to redo that or not, he said, oh, no problem, I've got all the time in the world. All right, <laughs> no problem. Doesn't take too long, really, to cook them up there, and now Kondo... Apples being fried mm. there. And, and Kusan? Yes. Yeah, just one more thing. I also wanted to give you the ingredients in this pot. They include white wine, water, sugar, apples, lemon and orange peels, and vanilla beans. Mm. Oh, okay. I wow. think she's making a compote. Compote. Yeah. Still trying to dazzle us, huh, with the foreign <laughs> words? <laughs> she's going to cool this down later for dessert. Well, of course, all the dishes are desserts today, uh -huh. but it will be something cold. All right. That's what I meant. That yeah. would give her a chilled one, and normally when you think desserts, most of them are chilled. Right, yeah. And now the Iron Chef here in the circle molds, and these are the apples that are overly soft, those? Uh, no, these are the ones that were sauteed, okay. I believe. Oh. Yeah. So the sauteed apples wow. packed into the mm. circle molds right there. Mm -hmm. Iron Chef Sakai using apples for this one. Right. A done deal? Um, well, these will be in the center and then some sort of chocolate decoration mm, around the outside, I imagine. Good. Okay, well, so far on this one, the Iron Chef's not been dealing that much with chocolate. He's concentrated his efforts more on the apples, while the Challenger has been doing a lot more with the chocolate. Right. And now, Look, as I say that, Sakai starts to add chocolate, <laughs> chocolate here. Okay, so what is he doing here exactly? It's chocolate on apples. Mm. Gosh, it looks so good. I can't right, wait to eat this. Right here in this dish, a direct usage combo of the two theme ingredients for this mm. dessert battle. A variation on a chocolate-covered apple. 
And now challenge aside, and are you kidding? Uh, is that what I think it is? <laughs> I think they're, they're making coffee over coffee. there. It is coffee, yeah. <laughs> Where are they going mm -hmm. with this? Well, you know, the, the theme for today is chocolate, correct? Yes. So. Cuisson? Yes. Yeah, my sources tell me the challenge is planning to make a kind of coffee sherbet sorbet thingy out of this. Back to you. <laughs> okay, so sorbet mocha. Oh, no, well, that oh, sounds okay. Wow. I like the sounds of that. But that's Fresh. also going to take a bit of time, though. Okay, assistant with the tedious task there. Mm -hmm. Probably never thought he'd be doing that. Now back with Sakai. Oh, it's a galette that he's making. Okay, wow. on top of the chocolate. Yeah. Wow. That's a pong galette. It. Look. Oh. What a concept. <laughs> Baked apples, chocolate, and then topped with the layer of apple wafers, doubling down on the one of the themes right there mm. now the item that the challenger is working on um, that was the one do we know what the weights right the pie sheets pie in sheets. the oven I, I think that whole concoction is gonna go into the pie sheet all wow. right 30 minutes gone time's been flying by an early celebration of Valentine's Day dessert deluxe in this one and now Sakai here he's redoing it okay uh -huh. core removing again Wow, so he did want to make them like baked apples I guess. redoubling his efforts on this one yeah mm. it has to be that right uh, he did want to definitely maintain the shape, right? Okay, and the word from the floor was the that he had the heat on too high the first mm -hmm. time around. Right, yeah. So he'll come back round two and lower that heat underneath. Yeah, well, he does have enough time for that. Right, shouldn't take much time. So, yeah, he'll be okay. fine. Okay, now back with the Challenger taste test there. Looks like some of the chocolate that she'd been working on, the melted stuff. And up to this point, her dishes, her desserts, we really don't have a clear picture of where she's going. Yeah, you're right, but they're obviously going to be very tasty. You mm -hmm. can see that she's condensing the flavors just mm -hmm. so okay. well and so cleverly. So I'm really looking forward to this. Look at these apples right here, very glazed looking, being stirred in the pot. And now the Iron Chef and looks like he's going to do some writing or chocolate stringing of his own. Oh, Kondo yeah. did this earlier. Yeah, you're right. It's not quite the same. His is a bit different. Slightly different, yeah. Sort of like a weave there, mm. a mesh is what we're seeing mm -hmm. by him. Yeah. And uh, also onto a chilled metal surface, aluminum it is, I guess. Right, yeah, and by having it chilled, it's easier to remove from the plate. You, the form is different when you mm. just scrape it off, right? Mm. So he's going to have this, this mesh. So scrape it off, you mean he won't lift this off and keep this mesh design that he's been making here? Well, that's possible, but you just gotta think about the whole overall appearance uh -huh. when he oh, lifts it up. Colors. Yeah, Look, yeah. He's he's got now with the white chocolate, which they have prepared earlier. Now, 20 minutes left in the battle, Challenger Kondo trying to be the third female chef out of four that have challenged here to walk off victorious, giving Sakai all he can handle. And Kusan, you were right, he wanted the screen mm. motif. All right, I got one. There he is, <laughs> lifting the chilled chocolate string mesh off the aluminum and now taking that back and going to keep it cooled in the fridge. Yeah, and now uh, at the Challenger, she's got the weights off of yes. that item now. Oh, and it looks like this is done or mm. near done. A first dish for her, an apple tart. Yeah. And now she's pouring something over it, yeah, filling well, it up right there. What is that? It yeah. looks very good. And zooming Ooh. in. Okay. Yes, looks great. <laughs> like to have that for takeout. <laughs> yeah, <right laughs> Unfortunately, <now. laughs> we don't get to try them, but <laughs> if uh, if uh, it's what I think it is, it's going to be a little sour. Mm -hmm. oh, she, sour. she is really good. She's really got her act mm. together here. All right, and continuing with her tart, and now Sakai got the blender in hand over there. And I wonder how things are with the pressure cooker. Fukuzan. Yes. Unfortunately, we have another disappointment to oh. report. The Iron Chef's apples and the pressure oh. cooker failed again, but this time he says he'll just use it like a soup. <laughs> My goodness, pulverized again, even on the second go around. Whoa. Mm. You know, I, th I think really think he should have just baked them in the oven because from the beginning he did have lots okay, of Okay, well, looks like he's going to try and use them. Uh, you heard Ota report for a soup, an apple soup. Mm. Okay, the Iron Chef dealing with that in 15 to minutes to go. And this one, Sakai on to plan B and Kondo beginning to scurry around a bit on her side of the kitchen. Now at the back of the table there with all the plates and selecting the plates that she's going to be using for her dishes, her desserts in this one. No major misstep on her side, nothing apparent. Unlike over here, the Iron Chef messing up twice on yeah. apples. Mm -hmm. And he's got some spring roll sheets. Okay, rolling yes, them up. Spring roll? And what's what? inside there? Um, apple, the sautéed apples. Okay, yeah. and now the assistant continuing with the work on that one. This will wind up looking like a basically a crepe with apples. It's mm -hmm. not exactly that, but he'll cook it again in a frying pan and okay. pour brandy and probably light it up like a big old bonfire. <laughs> All right, well, I hope he doesn't go too hot on this one. <laughs> yes. An important stage on the Challenger side, we noticed one of the assistants pouring the coffee flavored sherbet into the ice cream machine. He just finished doing that yep. just now. All right, and okay. how long would that take? For a sorbet or sherbet, about 15 minutes. Well, we're down to 13 minutes left. Yeah, that's close enough. Should, should be make it. <laughs> should be okay? I think so. All right. Now, if we can get a shot of the Iron Chef, here he is. That, okay. The item that he was chilling earlier, notice he did wow. flip it over. Yes, looks uh, like to have been flipped. I was right. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Did you notice that? <laughs> now, do anything else with this? Uh, no, just put it in the refrigerator. Right. All right, it's just chilled. chilling it'll yeah. be. It does have the chocolate cake underneath, and now the challenger with her chocolate string starting her nest making right over here, and also she's starting to step it up at the end. Yeah, uh, a nice little nest for two. <laughs> okay, Valentine. but for now she's passed on that and on to something some, else. Okay, yeah, what it looks is this? like she is. Oh yes. Oh, okay. Look at that. Oh, I see. Mm, boy, oh, 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 is that so ever cute? Sweet. That looks wonderful. Wow. Down onto her applesauce right there. And this is called fromage blanc. All right, now Sakai, melted chocolate or a frosting right there being applied to the rims mm -hmm. of these glasses. Yeah. Wow, I like this. It's yeah, really a pretty. Little, oh. little kiss of chocolate to start <laughs> yeah. your meal. Very it's poetic. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, he did say that, uh, you know, like with, with that first failure, though, but, you know, he's got the experience, so he can he can turn around and make anything out of this. Mm -hmm. He'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Now, is this the soup? Uh, this was out of the pressure cooker. Should be good. So experience saves him here. Oh, definitely. These are out of the pressure cooker. This should be good. So experience saves him. <laughs> oh, definitely. The man's a veteran. He's a pro. All right, now back with Kondo, and there's the straw going down for the nest. Yeah. <laughs> Challenger wrapping the heart with the lover's nest. Oh, that's, so oh, that's sweet. cute. Yeah. Design right in line for a Valentine's Day dessert. Ten minutes, to Ten minutes left. Now the Iron Ooh, Chef. Look at roses. this. Look at him go. Got some roses, some other oh. colorful items. Gonna set about doing his thing presentation-wise is Sakai. Mm. Well, it's starting to look like a nest too now, doesn't it? <laughs> Man is going really on is. the attack, grabbing whatever he can, wherever he can. That's true, yeah. Just doing some presentation <laughs> oh, on the fly. So yeah. Wow. Uh, See something he likes, grab it and run. Yeah, yeah, well, he's an artist. He's creative. Well, he's got carte blanche in here. Anything he sees, <laughs> if he can use it, he's got it. That's true. <laughs> All right, and now he's on the prowl once once again, let's see what he comes up with here. Okay, now if we can swing over the challenger okay. here. Oh, Back with cone right. raspberries mm, over the white wow, heart. I like All right, that. it gets better and better, this one. <laughs> Just looking at it warms the cockles of my heart. Numamiya san, how about this one for your dad? Boy, I'm learning a lot, getting lots of ideas. Come February 14th, we want to know what kind of chocolates you're going to have for your man <laughs> and for your dad. <laughs> my secret. All right, back with Sakai now. Literally, his back and He's in the dark there, and we're doing something. Mesh item, some of it's broken up there. Okay, oh, the one that he was chilling right. under, the, the creamy cake, right? Mm -hmm. So he's sticking that chocolate mesh around it, I guess. You know, it's almost like a fence encircling it, that one mm -hmm. by Sakai. Yeah, oh, wow. so it's Ooh. the chocolate around the outside. Wow, that's that looks great. Mm -hmm. Another good visual it's from Sakai. And see. doing the job, hunkered down while it stays in the fridge, gonna keep cool all the way, stay cool doing it too. Yeah, well, that's a good way to keep it cool with working with your head in the fridge. <laughs> all right, now on this side, the Challenger. Oh, the challenger. Okay, that's the compote, right? She didn't chill this? Getting rather late in the game. Ooh. She may not have enough time to chill it. Mm. Wow. We are okay. down to seven minutes left in the battle. And you, well, the apples that she's slicing, they were they were warm a minute ago, right? right? And the glasses, though, they look chilled. Oh, yeah, they, yeah. they seem to be chilled. Focus on. Yes. The coffee sherbet the Challenger has in the ice cream machine isn't freezing or hardening quick enough, and she's worried about the outcome. Oh, boy. Uh, hold on. Gosh. And now I'm told that she's giving up on that one completely. Oh, oh wow. my, oh, my sorbet down the tubes. Oh, boy. So giving up on the sorbet. We're gonna have to cross that one off from her menu. Mm. And a major mishap on her side. And yeah. now, Umemiya-san, when your dad did it here, yes. he uh, they all go through it, the challenges do. The clock is tough. Right. Well, an really? hour seems like five mm. minutes, you know? Yeah, when he came home, he said it had been really, really tough. It was yeah. really difficult. Yes, uh-huh. Well, it Definitely. was a great battle, got to tell you that. Well, the one-hour time limit is the problem. It's yes. so hard. All right, now the Iron Chef, and what a collection. Look at all of oh. the items on that tray right there. He just loaded it up with fruit. <laughs> Unbelievable. So Blueberries, passion oh, wow. fruit, some other things in there as well. Oh. All right, now here. Mmm, shaving something. Challenger That's side. Really, doing good. Shaving really shaving it. Again. Yeah, that'd be oh. for a decoration. Okay, perhaps chocolate flakes for a surface. Right, somewhere. right, something very similar to that. Okay, now back with Sakai and oh. mixing the contents there. Ice cream is ready. Mm. Yes. This ice cream is a result of the mixture that we talked about back when the battle first started, including apple puree, sugar, apple cider, calvados, and a little water. At some point, those ingredients obviously went into the ice cream machine. All right, I remember that okay. one with the calvados. Yes. Right. You gave me the primer on that. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, a little over three minutes left in the battle. Kondo here. 
A light oh. pink veil of some oh. sort being okay. used by the challenger for some decorative aspects. Now, hang on a second. What's she putting on three top there? To now there are three minutes left. Can you make that out? Is it, is it almonds? Okay, oh, almonds yes. right there. Oh, okay. All right, that makes I sense. I have to say, Doc, the lady's been really impressive today. A mm. wide range of skills she's exhibited, not only cooking, but also her sense of decoration, presentation, mm -hmm. challenger, so Fuyuko Kondo, yeah. now Sakai, his sorbet. Yeah, the ice cream. Okay, ice go. cream, we'll call yeah. it an apple ice cream, and right there on the heart, oh. now a minute to go, <laughs> right the final top. 60 seconds. But he still has an item in the oven. Yes, sir, it's uh, the Iron Chef's side. What about that? Don't know what's happening with that one right now. Could ill afford to mess up on another one. Got to get that one out and down in the last 45 seconds. Challenger still working on this one. And Sakai laboring with his apple ice cream to go with his apple chocolate, apple galette. Kondo still with work to do. Okay, she's got two colors happening. Co colors here. of what? Yeah, it's, it's a semi sweet and milk chocolate blended together. Okay, it's our second dessert battle in the span of about two months. Challenger Kondo, there are the chocolate shavings resting on the surface of that one. Her parents up in the royal box today, proudly looking on as their daughter competes on a national stage, battling the Iron Chef. And look at the finished product right there from Sakai. The Delacroix pulling out all the stops on that one. Valentine's Day presentation. Kondo back at the fridge. It's got to come out and get it done right at the very end, final seconds tick down, and that's it. The cooking's done. The battle is over. So, how did the time go? It went by very quickly. Oh, it's really too bad the coffee sherbet didn't work out. Yeah, unfortunately. But uh, how would you rate the other dishes that you created? About half as good as I expected, I suppose. Only half? Yeah. So, can I ask if you're still confident about winning? Mm, I'm missing something. The dish that got away, huh? Yeah, because I put so much into it. Had high shame. hopes for that yes. one. How was the battle? This is the second dessert battle. Not right. being able to use similar techniques from last time made it tougher. Oh, so a different approach was used, but the dishes still turned out nicely, right? Well, I made some mistakes, uh -huh. but the key is how to use the given conditions. I think I did okay in that respect. Okay, good. Yeah. Challenger Kondo is offering three dishes. First, apple stewed in wine. It's designed to allow the heat from the apple to slowly melt the chocolate. The natural tartness of wine makes for a pleasant experience. Second, heart-shaped cream with green applesauce, with the chocolate nest for lovers. The aroma of the mousse and slight bitterness of chocolate are enhanced by the green applesauce. Last, apple tart, sautéed apple pieces in a pie crust. It was going to be topped with chocolate shavings, but unfortunately she was unable to finish it. Iron Chef Sakai counters with his set of three. First, apple soup. Taking advantage of two failed attempts, he turns overly softened apples into a fancy drink, served in glasses with chocolate-coated rims. It comes with an apple crepe using spring roll sheets, his creativity helping him salvage the apples. Second, apple and white chocolate mousse. Sakai used an entire bottle of red wine to create this dish for adults. In addition to highlighting the contrast in textures between the apple and the mousse, the red wine sauce with white chocolate shows the level of his expertise. Last, apple galette and sorbet combo, celebrating three ways of enjoying apples in a sorbet, raw, and sauteed. And the flavor and depth of the chocolate are superb. Gaston Lenotre, the biggest name in French confectionery circles. It was he who spotted the talent and took on the job of training this young lady who's among the top three dessert makers in Japan today, challenger Fuyuko Kondo. She's here for a battle of desserts, our second in a couple months, against Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai. The Academy has already announced chocolate will be one of the two theme ingredients, preparing Kitchen Stadium for a battle celebrating the day for lovers, Valentine's Day. Chairman Kaga has the pleasure of unveiling for this dessert battle the second theme ingredient, apples. Challenger Kondo has to scrap one of the dishes she plans but finishes with a lovely threesome. Iron Chef Sakai finishes himself with a presentation studded set of three. And now, the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the Valentine's Day battle are songwriter Yasushi Akimoto, actress Anna Umemiya, and culinary critic Asako Kishi. First, the dishes of Challenger Kondo. Very nice. Uh, I like this Thank very you. much. The sourness and wine? Yes, some wine. Very refreshing aroma. 
Mm, matches well with chocolate. I think the chocolate and the apple match just, just right here. Yes. First, the sourness uh, taps you on your shoulder, so to speak, and then later the sweetness comes in. I think as a starter, this is really a very good dish. There are a variety of flavors mixed in this. I'm enjoying this very much as I'm eating along. I like the idea very much. Thank you very much. But one could say that this represents a complicated kind of love, or really a screwed up relationship. <laughs> I mean, the complexity of it is really what I, what I like here. And it's not so sweet, which is good. And the sourness of green apple and the sauce, and the bitter chocolate, and its tough texture. Mmm, very well balanced. I didn't make it in time. That's why there's no chocolate. That's her trick, right? The missing chocolate, you, well, it makes you wonder what's what's missing. It's it's wrong to expect everything on Valentine's Day. Next time we'll have a tart with chocolate. Maybe just one year from now. <laughs> and now up the dishes of Iron Chef Sakai. I like this. Yeah, it's good, but when you eat this crepe while drinking this, you know, I feel like a middle-aged businessman washing down a sandwich with some mi milk while waiting for the bus. But as an idea, I think it's interesting. The design, you look at the rose and the shredded pink documents, <laughs> nice, nice touch. What the Iron Chef is trying to say, I think, is look at the volume of paper I've consumed trying to write to you. Look at all of the pink paper I've wasted and shredded. She put the rose on top to, well, to convey her, her love. Anyway, the Iron Chef always is an expert in putting us on our toes while, while we eat food. And now Sakai preparing the servings of his mousse. I can taste the alcohol in this. Yes, this is for adults. The mousse has a nice texture and the aroma is good. The wine sauce, which is a bitter on top, uh, yes. <clears throat> I can only say this is very good. <laughs> Using the whole bottle of red wine was key. Well, because the texture is so good, you know, you can't stop until you have to stop. And the last item, the galette, he'll now finish with a coffee sauce. This is great. It's very good. Mm. At the bottom is sautéed apple, is it? Uh -huh. There are various forms of apple, but you needed more chocolate, I think. Uh, just a little more. <laughs> and with all of these elements here, it uh, could get cloudy, but I think this speaks of the Iron Chef's romantic history in succeeding to juggle multiple women at one time. <laughs> Normally, the flavor would become cloudy, but the Iron Chef knows how to deal with a lot of things at one time. Both the Challenger and Iron Chef probably plans to save the chocolate only for their loved ones, so they gave us more apple today. I wish they had put a little bit more chocolate to their dishes. Not much chocolate, but a lot of heart. Verdict's coming. Whose heart will be singing? しかし、作る現場を見たのは初めてでした。その熱き壮絶な愛の戦いに大いに感動しました。それでは発表します。
Today, Kitchen Stadium decorated for Valentine's Day. The aroma of chocolate filling the air. A battle of dishes celebrating desserts for lovers. Challenger Kondo, her passion unbridled. Iron Chef Sakai, can he win a second straight dessert battle? Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? It's the Iron Chef Sakai winning. Two for two in dessert battles, this time against one of the best dessert chefs in the country. It's got to be a bit of a heartbreak for her. She gave us a great performance, but the depth of his skills, his heart is strong. Iron Chef French, Hiroyuki Sakai.